What does it take to cross a pole? What does it take to develop premium expedition products? Well, since I first started to do uh, expeditions uh, in 1986, I've been working on details on equipment and designing, you know, tents and sleeping bags and swimsuits to cross leads. That has always been a big part of me and doing expeditions, trying to, to move it forward on the technical side. So the suit we're making now has all uh, my experience in it. I, I really like working on equipment, uh, and uh, I've been uh, uh, fortunate to, to work with Norana with the equipment for quite a few years. I like working with, uh, with designers, and you know, they're so passionate about what they're doing, and to be with the guys with Norana who really, really knows what uh, uh, qualities, that has been a privilege, really. And for me, coming from kind of the 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 user end and working with the guys that actually um, do the, the the final layout of it, it's, it's been a privilege. And it's very inspiring for me to work with people who know what they're doing. We have the meetings, we go through all the details that we have from before, we go through the elements that I want to change, and we implement that in the first prototype. I take the first prototype with me on the trip, which I just have done now on Baffin Island. And after that, we immediately sat down and went through all the details, so it was uh, fresh from the field. When it gets so much so people don't get glad at all. And then it gets very much wind that comes in here, so you must have a chance to lock it. Just look at that solution there, and find something that works for you, actually. Now we have the solution. Now we have the problematic. No, the solution. You can't just walk in you know, the woods or do a weekend trip in the mountains. Uh, you need you need some time. You need that, uh, some period of, of days uh, or weeks to be able to really get to know all the details and also the durability. The North Pole is one of the world's most desolate regions, a vast white wilderness its extreme weather conditions owing to its treacherous reputation. However, for Bergoesland, it's become a second home. And the plan is to, uh, we're going to Nome in Alaska in mid-August, and uh, from there we will sail into the polar ocean, and we want to penetrate as far into the polar ocean as possible. And then we'll get onto the ice, the boat will return, and Mike and myself, we will start skiing towards the North Pole and continue towards Svalbard. We'll start in the warm side uh, of the season and walk towards the winter and the darkness. On the 12th of September, 2019, Berga and Mike leave the sail ship Pangaea. Ahead waits over 1,500 kilometers of frozen wilderness, ice, and death traps. The explorers need to keep a tight schedule with strict routines, relying on all their collective experience. This will be their hardest test to date. After battling the darkness, ice, and cold for more than a month, Berger and Mike reached the North Pole on the 17th of October, 450 kilometers from the boat they left behind. But uh, we're at the North Pole. Congratulations, huh? Well done, Borgi! Yeah, we deserve this. We deserved it in the middle of the night. But this is only half of the expedition, and they are not able to stay at the pole for long. Ahead lies 900 kilometers of darkness, cold, and shifting ice. This is the ultimate test for the Arctis collection. 
Despite a depleted food supply, extreme weather, shifting ice, infections and accidents, Berger and Mike dig deep and keep a good steady pace towards their goal. This trip seems impossible to complete. After 86 days, Berger and Mike reach the boat Lance. Behind them, they have crossed over 1,500 kilometers of ice and survived unsupported in the frozen wilderness. Never before has anyone completed such a feat. Yes! Developing a new neurona collection takes a lot of trial and error. Speed bumps and setbacks are part of the daily routine in a product development process that can take years to complete. All logistical elements need to come together and work in tandem. You never know what you might meet in the world's most isolated regions. So the process actually has been going on since uh, 2006. It takes a long time to make a product like that. So that jacket, the trouser, have all the elements that uh, I have tested and worked out in my head on all these trips. What, what do I need to, to make life as good and comfortable and as safe as possible when I do my expeditions? And now we will build on that and uh, launch the Arctic battle dress. This will be the really the high end, the ultimate uh, jacket and trousers for, uh, for expedition use or just normal mountain use. Because if it works in the Arctic, it will also work in Norwegian mountains or wherever it's windy and cold. <laughs> 